It's a historic Absolutely. account. You know, it does, it may use, it certainly uses figures of speech. It certainly uses, uh, there are, it uses symbols. So for example, the Adam and Eve were naked. Well, for that their nakedness was, was, was literal. They were literally naked. They had no clothes on. But the nakedness is also a symbol of their innocence. So the text, the text is communicating at a literal level and at a symbolic level at the same time. But, uh, I, I take it, uh, 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 there's a there's a new book by Vern Poitras uh, on Eden, on Eden, interpreting Eden. It's called. It's a very good book, and it deals with some of these questions. Okay, perfect. So Genesis one to eleven, it's a literal word of God, not just mythology or poetry. Absolutely. Yes, and there are people now. There are some. There are. Some scholars, there are some archaeologists who are even showing archaeological evidence for some of the things that have taken place in Genesis 1 to 11, like the Tower of Babel. And, and I mean, it's not; it shouldn't be hard to uh, believe in a universal flood. Every every nation in the world has a flood story. 